Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I read this story about the founder of Papa John's stepping down as chairman following some controversial statements he made during a conference call where this man basically was downplaying some statements that he made about the NFL and its impact on his sales and stuff like that. And he was downplaying it by talking about how Colonel Sanders, you know, the man who founded Kentucky Fried Chicken used to call black people niggers and it was no big deal. And then this guy also went on to talk about how he remembers the times in Indiana where white people would literally drag people who are black on the back of their cars, you know, killing them and stuff, hurting them and injuring them. So he made these statements, you know, and for those of you who don't remember what he said about the NFL, basically he was complaining about the NFL not effectively dealing with those uh, national anthem protests. And he was talking about how because of those protests, it had an impact on his sales because Papa John's is a sponsor of um, the NFL and all that kind of stuff. And because people were outraged about those protests, it had an impact on his sales. So he's complaining about the protests. He's not saying that, you know, obviously he wasn't in support of the protests. You know, he was speaking out against these protests. Here you have black people speaking out and protesting against police brutality, where you have a situation where these stinking pigs kill black people with impunity and black people decided well, enough is enough. You had the brother Colin Kaepernick leading the charge, you know, using his platform as a famous football player to bring attention to the issue of police brutality. But yet you had this man whining and complaining about how it's impacting the sales of Papa John's pizza. So because of those statements, you know, he was forced to resign as the CEO of Papa John's and then he went on to become the chairman of the board of directors and now he has had to step down because of these statements using the N-word. Here you had this white guy freely using the N-word. And a lot of times, you know, people will use the N-word and basically try to cover it up by saying, well, oh, I was talking about what this person was saying. I'm not using the N-word myself. They look for an opportunity to use the N-word, just like that guy Quentin Tarantino. I mean, he loves the N-word. I mean, I don't give these people a pass ever. I don't give them a pass, period. You know, you use the N-word, you're done in my book, as far as I'm concerned, if you're a white person. You're done, it's over for you, it's curtains. And then when you top that on, on top of the fact that this guy was, you know, complaining about the NFL protests, you know, whining about the lack of his sales and all that kind of stuff uh, for, for pizza because black people were protesting. I mean, this dude is done and I'm glad he's resigned from the board of directors. And I can't even mess with Papa John's pizza, man. I'm not buying a single slice of that pizza. I'm not trying any of that stuff anymore, man. I'm done with Papa John's and I hope that you are too, man. It's a damn shame that you got this guy, um, you know, with these kinds of views in this kind of position, man. You know, and some people will say, well, black people use the N-word all the time. Why are you making a big deal about this guy talking about somebody else using the N-word? I mean, you know, number one, although I don't condone black people using the N-word, and I've done video after video talking about how we shouldn't use the N-word. The fact of the matter is when black people use the N-word, it has a whole different context to it and a different meaning despite the history of the word. That's no excuse for using, using the word, but it gives you context so that you can understand that when black people use it, it's a different type of, it has a different type of meaning, although I don't condone it because of the history of the, uh, tied to the use of the N-word. So to use the fact that black people use the N-word as some kind of excuse to justify this man's use of the N-word, especially given the circumstances, given the fact that this man, um, you know, complained about these protests where people were protesting against an injustice, and that's the situation of police brutality. When you put it in that context, that makes it clear. I mean, it makes it clear about this man's intentions and his, mo his uh, motives and all that stuff. So I'm glad to see this guy go, and I hope, you know, that people don't support that company.